guys welcome back to my channel I'm back I'm back I'm back I had a great time in Virginia Beach um, I really did you know what I told I spy we have to go to Virginia more often I mean I just liked I just love it and um, if I lived in Virginia I would be broke because the shopping okay I, I would definitely be broke um, I I've come to the conclusion that Dollar Tree is the haves and the have-nots. I mean, walking into those stores, can you imagine seeing nothing, name brand city, okay? In abundance, in abundance. Not like here when something comes, it might be a couple on the shelf and you feel guilty if you clear the shelf or if you buy more because you want the other have-nots to experience the name brand goodness. but. I mean, it's like when you're with the have-nots and you see those hot items, you tend to overbuy because it's just, you just don't know if it'll ever happen again. You understand what I'm saying? Where living there, you have choices. Oh, I'll wait till next week. I mean, it was just like, those people don't realize how lucky they are. My sister, she lives like five minutes from a phenomenal store and I don't think she realizes you know I'm the Dollar Tree addict in the family nobody else but me so um, they don't it's just like it's Dollar Tree you know what I mean she asked me something where did you get this from I told the Dollar Tree she couldn't believe it. oh the edge gel because I took um, some edge gel and some other Bath and Body Works you know I want to clean out you know so um, I took her some stuff she lives in Hampton Virginia but anyway let's get into this fantastic haul it's gonna be divided in two I'm gonna do what I love the most, food and makeup. And then the second part will be like cleaning items, um, miscellaneous, whatever seasonal things I got. Um, the in-store has already been uploaded and I usually say I don't buy everything I see, but I mostly bought a lot of what I seen because like I said, this is just fantastic. Speaking to one of my favorite Dollar Tree store managers, cause I was telling, um, the freight manager, she's the one who's there with the truck. She gets the inventory out in the store, so she knows what's coming in or what came in. So, you know, tight with her, because I'm looking for those egg, egg holder sliding baskets and the other clear refrigerator sliding basket, and she was shocked herself. Well, the store manager said that we in North Carolina, at least these group of stores, we're with the South Carolina distribution. We used to be with the DC distribution, which Virginia is on, and that's why they get the hotness. So I do have a Dollar Tree. I almost made it there yesterday, but I had to come back home in Roanoke Rapids where I do my travel nurse assignment from time to time. But because of the condition of the facility, I can't see when I'll be back. I was gonna go there. It's an hour and a half drive. I just said, you know what, I'm going because I know they have what I'm looking for. Um, they're about 20 minutes from Virginia, state lines, so I believe that's why they get, every time I go there, I see similar items that I found. I've been talking a lot, I haven't seen you guys in a minute, so excuse my chattiness, but let's get into this. Let's start with food, okay, I'll save cosmetics for last. This is that new coffee, Senko Karib, it's imported coffee. Um, yeah, I don't need coffee because I really went crazy with the Harry and David's and I have other coffee that name brand coffee that Dollar Tree had, but just, I just got it. The best buy date is April 30th, 2024. So it's a little over a year. So I got it. I got only one bag and I got French vanilla. They did have a breakfast blend and they did have hazelnut, which I'm not a hazelnut lover. I just don't like it. And just because I seen it. I got another bag of the Harry and David Vanilla Cream Brulee. I love it. And I'm also enjoying those um, K-Cups that I got from Burke Outlets from Harry and David's. It's a caramel pecan or something. It's, it's delicious. Something that my local Dollar Trees don't have. And they haven't had for quite a few weeks. And we went through this with the microwave popcorn. There was no microwave popcorn on the shelves for weeks and weeks and weeks. Now we have the microwave popcorn. And we do not have the Jolly Time yellow popcorn. This is a constant repurchase. I love making popcorn on the stove top. One of you asked me to show how I make it. I didn't forget. It's just that sometimes we could be down here and it's just like a spontaneous thing. And I'm not like video ready. You know what I mean? And I just make the popcorn. It takes less than five minutes. I 
will use the microwave popcorn, but upstairs, like if we're upstairs, because we have a microwave upstairs, you know what I mean? But I wish to be, I told I spy, I wish I had like an electric skillet or something. I love making the popcorn fresh. I do have a popcorn maker. I use it a handful of times, a little cute pink popcorn maker I got from Macy's, but I like it on the stove better. So I picked up two bags because I don't know when I'll see it again. And I have not priced that at the supermarket. Sorry. Almost dropped you there. I have not priced it at the supermarket. So I don't know what it's going for in the supermarket. I don't. So I'm going to um, stock up whenever I see it. And I never even checked the Best Buy date, to be honest with you. I never checked it. Every time I buy it, I just never... Does it never expire? I don't even see a date on here. And I'm telling you guys, it's nothing on the back of the package. Oh, here it is in the cut. Okay, December 2024. All right, something that I found that was on my wish list, and I wish I never found it because it's disgusting, but I will share it with you. I found the Splenda Coffee Makers, and I bought two French Vanilla, and this is the, it doesn't say Italian, it's sweet cream, right? No sugar added, and um, I follow somebody on YouTube, a health guru, uh, Dr. Eric Berg, I think if I'm saying his name right. If you've watched health videos on YouTube, you know who he is. I follow him. I Obviously, I don't listen to his advice. Maybe one day, you know, but he said Splenda's absolutely horrible for you, but I bought it anyway. Like I said, I follow him. I don't let, listen to his advice, so I would be in much better shape, but anyway... I got one for the hotel room because they had a Keurig in the hotel. It's just absolutely disgusting. I poured it out. It's in the garbage. And I have my receipt. I'm going to be returning these to my local Dollar Tree. I just don't like it. Let me know if you've tried it in the comments and you like it. It just tastes horrible. Disgusting. Wasted a perfectly good cup of coffee. Um, you know, they give you the K-cups in the hotel room and they give you the powdered creamer. So I wanted something with flavor. And mm -mm. I did find this one, a non-dairy creamer sweet cafe um the best by date is december 2023 i'm gonna try it i mean you know hopefully it's a little bit better than uh that splendor when i came back they had i think the hazelnut i don't think i've seen the french vanilla here but they have the hazelnut and again that's not my thing um i found something else that i've seen other people hold I love these rice pouches. I hate cooking rice, okay? I could count how many times a year I make rice. Um, I'm the one that would buy the rice in the bags that you boil. Yeah, that's me. Um, but they have these roasted flavored chicken rice. They had the white rice. And since I've been back, I've seen the long grain brown rice. But I'm, I'm really, you know, I, ha I will use brown rice, but that's just, you know, not my thing. But this is the roasted chicken one. So I got two bags. The best by date is November. Uh, 2023 so that's quick quick side something that the haves have in abundance is the kind of barbecue sauce this never made it near me I bought three of them I was hoping to find the seafood um, rub um, then there was another rub or maybe was it just the seafood and then they have the teriyaki marinade oh I love a teriyaki marinade I love a teriyaki steak put grilled uh, green onions on or scallions on top whatever you want to call them green onions scallions or whatever oh in the summertime oh anyway never found that but they did have this almost every store I walked in had plenty I mean it was just take as many as you want because we got plenty that's that, that was the vibe so I did get three of those I also have seen people falling from spice trader this ranch dressing mix I guess you just add sour cream to it now, I'm not really a big ranch dressing person, so I don't know why I bought it. I, just because I've seen it, and I don't see it near me. I also never used their taco seasoning that I hold, and I found the, this brand at that Roanoke Rapids. That's right before Virginia. That as soon as I have time, because we leave next week for the cruise. But when I come back, I am at least going to go there once a month, because it's ridiculous that, you know... If I if I know I'm gonna find things, you know, but I'd be I'd be so mad if I drove an hour and a half. I'm telling y'all, and I can't be mad at nobody but myself because is it that serious? <laughs> is it that serious, girl? But I drive an hour to Zebulon. I drive an hour to Smithfield, so I'm used to that hour drive, you know. So what's 20 more minutes? What's another half hour? So anyway, I picked this up. So I don't know when I will make it. The best by date is May 2024. So have over a year. 
something that when I was in New York, I used to get from Dollar Tree all the time. If you guys don't know about True Lemon, you need to find out about them. They also have other um, dehydrated fruits. They have grapefruit and they have limes. Let me tell you something. If you don't have fresh lemons and you like lemon in your tea or lemon in your cooking, this is crystallized lemons. That's it. Ingredients is crystallized lemons, citric acid, lemon oil, and lemon juice. And it comes in a packet. I opened one because made I spy tea with lemon while we were in the hotel room. This is what the packets look like, guys. And it tastes like real lemon. So if you don't have lemon juice, you need lemon in your recipe, or you're going to be traveling and you don't want liquid and stuff like that, this stuff is great. And you get 12 packets. They're official. Check out their website. This is a brand. Um, again, my Dollar Trees in New York had these. This was just like a regular restock purchase. I've never seen these in North Carolina. So I did buy three boxes. Probably would have bought more, but I think that's all they had. They're all right. They'll get more. Found the protein waters. Um, I only bought one variety. They had a citrus one and they had, I don't know, an orchard one. I don't know. It is in the end store, but I got the strawberry lemonade. Um, I spy tried one. I bought two. He said he likes it. So it has seven grams of protein. It's protein infused water, 28 calories, no sugar. We, this, we don't have what the have nots. We don't have that. So I did get one of those. Could not believe because I have never seen two liter brand name sodas. We are not big soda drinkers, but I spy likes ginger ale. I'm telling you, a two liter in the supermarket is almost $3, okay? They had several different varieties of name brand two liter sodas. I'm used to my Dollar Tree having the one liter bottles, which I think for $1.25 is good as well. Um, so yeah, but this is even great. So I had got two Canada Dry regular one, and this is the cranberry ginger ale, which I like. And uh, we had one while we were there in the hotel. Well, he did. I didn't drink any of it. But um, how, they had sun kits, two liters. I mean, it must be nice. It must be nice, guys. You guys got it made in the shade. Um, I think, is that all of the food? Yes, that is all of the food. This is not food, but it fits in that category. I have stopped seeing these faux crystal wine glasses at my local Dollar Trees. They do not have them. They have not had them. I was looking for them when I was making the Valentine's paint and set baskets because I did not want to ship glass. This is great. This is great if you're going out of town and traveling and you want wine glasses, okay, but you don't want to travel with glass. If you're going outside for a picnic, um, this is really, really, really nice. I love them. When I got married, we did not have um, a big wedding. We went to the town hall. It was beautiful to me. Um, and after that, I did a home reception. I actually have a video um, of my decorations that I did for my home wedding reception. And on my table, I had these glasses. So I'll include a clip, um, a snippet of it. And I absolutely love these. I think those are great. And I wish we get them back. I hope we get them back. Let's move into beauty. Okay, so I found this at the Dollar Tree in Roanoke Rapids. I don't know if it was this scent, but I didn't get it and I regretted it. This is the Me Bath Body Scrub Smooth Me Cucumber Melon Skin Smoothie with Nourishing Fruit Extracts, crafted in the USA, made with love. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. And I think it was a different variety. I don't think it was the cucumber melon but I don't know who these people are I haven't had time to google them but I said I should have got it so when I seen it again I got it and have not seen this anywhere else so I don't know I guess it's just like um soften your skin with the skin smoothie scrub so it's a smoothie scrub for best results apply to wet skin and bath or shower lather in circular motion and rinse clean okay so it's a bath item so I will try it um was not expecting to find this but the goal was to get the Brillo dish spray, um, kinder items. So I found the barbecue sauce. I did not find the natural uh, cleaner, um, but I found like mostly everything else. Flower, Flower Beauty. So I haven't had a chance to try it. This is a Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. Um, so is this like a press powder? It's a blurring powder with a nude skin feel. I wish I should have got more. But I only got two because I never know. I, 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 this will never come near me. I know you may be tired of me saying that, but 
It's, it's a fact. I'm going to keep it real. Something else that we might get, uh, we've gotten Wet n Wild highlighters, but I've never seen a CoverGirl highlighter. So this is CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow. So this is great. These items are just in time for my trip. I'm going to start packing early because we leave in less than a week. And I didn't pack for Virginia until an hour before we left and I forgot my makeup. And that was a good thing because I had a reason to go to the store and I was able to squeeze in four Dollar Trees. I was supposed to be going to Walmart, which I did because they had my, um, my Maybelline foundation, but I also squeezed in four more stores. So that's how it got to go to almost seven Dollar Trees. I, I lost count. I went to so many, but if it wasn't for that, I would have been in that hotel room dreaming. But yes, yeah, so look at this. I got two of them and does it give you a color? It's just True Blend Super Stunner. So I'm just like in love and so happy that I found it. Did not expect to find the Airspun. I hold two and I, because I forgot my makeup, I needed a highlighter. So uh, yeah, this is the Airspun Loose Powder. Now somebody said there's two different colors and I was looking, but I'm in every location I went into guys, I was rushing because either I spy was in the car or I knew I had to get back to the hotel because Dollar Tree is my obsession. It's not his. And that was like our Valentine's Day. And, you know, it's not fair to him. You know what I mean? I, I put a lot of time into this, and that's taking away from him. And he is very patient, but so I, I wouldn't have that patience. Let it be some Bluetooth speakers or some tech stuff that he's around chasing. I, I'm, I'm not going to keep it real. I know that's one-sided and that's wrong, but I have to be honest. I would not be as understanding as patient as he would. I would be like, are you kidding me? You're going to Best Buy? Another Best Buy? I would do the same thing he did, but I, I, you know, I make him feel guilty or whatever. Anyway, somebody said there's two different varieties. I was trying to look because the way they had them all packaged, I only seen this one, and this is like a, like a golden one similar to this. Now, I had bought other loose highlighters. I'm, I don't know. I kind of like these better, okay? But I did try it. I mean, I had no other choice. I didn't have any other highlighter with me. And at that time, I didn't find that one yet. Um, so it's good. It's a name brand. They make loose setting uh, powder. And I have not tried this setting powder. I almost bought it once at Walmart, but I didn't. But, you know, they're an official brand. So I did get two of them. One I already started using. I was hunting for these products from Le, Le Mercery, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sounds very fancy. Unfortunately, I did not find any of the highlighters, but I did find a wish list item, and that was the matte setting spray. I bought five of them. I didn't know I bought five. I thought I bought like three or four, but I bought five of them. Wish I would have bought more. I wear makeup every day almost, and I use setting spray. So this is formulated with shea butter and argan oil. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about these products, whether it's from the foundation. I haven't seen a review on the setting spray yet. Um, somebody asked me on Instagram. I didn't try it yet, but I will. I don't know. You get how much? One fluid ounce. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to like it. I hope I like it because, like I said, I'm hearing good things. Now, I don't wear eyeliner, but I wasn't going to leave this behind. This is their black eyeliner. Okay. It's a... Uh, long lasting eyeliner yeah i'm hoping to find their foundation and then this is their vol volumizing mascara even though i wear lashes i use mascara on lashes and then the little bit of lashes that i do um if i'm giving my eyelids a break um i put on mascara to thicken what i have um yeah so i got it I only got one i only got one of the eyeliner and only one of the mascara this is supposed to be from them. This is from them as well, and I only got one. I thought I picked up another one. This is a Make Me Up infused with almond oil and Joba seed oil plumping lip gloss. I only got one. I have not seen a review from them, but this is from the same company as those products. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and that's why I was trying my best to get to Ronick Rapids yesterday, but I had to come back home. So I just stopped in Rocky Mount. That video will be next. Um, and they didn't have none of those products. So it is what it is. I found the Glitter Roller Ball Fragrance from um, Be Pure. They also, this is strawberry scented and they also had grape. I don't want to take a lot of time up, guys. 
because I don't want this video to be super, super long. That's why I'm dividing it up and we'd be here forever. But I want it, oh, it has glitter in it. I, you, this is why reading is very, it's good to read, right? It says it, glitter ball. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't like those shimmery things. You know, I don't want glitter on, you know. Um, it doesn't smell bad. And a little bit of glitter comes out. I mean, you know, you probably can't see it, but it doesn't smell bad. It definitely smells like strawberries. I think this is perfect for a teen's Easter basket. Even for yourself. You know what? I forgot what doll it was that smelled like strawberries. Was it strawberry shortcake? Did she smell like strawberries? Definitely strawberry scented. I think this is perfect for a uh, teen's, you know, or young girl's uh, gift basket. I think it's nice. It's not bad. I don't know how it's gonna last. I'll let you know by the end of this video if I still smell it. Okay, I bought this. This should be the same product. They just changed the packaging like they do with their lashes. This is from Ioni. This is the Everlasting 2-in-1 Eyelash Glue Liner. Um, I do have quite a few of the pink packaging, so I don't know. I think they just changed the packaging, and I picked up just one because it, it was not a necessity. Um, is any of this a necessity? I don't know. I did get this. Now, this is by me, but I was watching. I really, really enjoy watching Dollar Tree makeup videos. I do. It's just, I love Dollar Tree. I love makeup. I want to see how people are using this products. How do they like them? Um, and... This particular person raved and raved and raved about this. She wasn't sure if it was the blending tool or this, but she really loved her skin. The reason why I didn't get this initially here because it's a hydrating primer serum and I don't want anything that's gonna to be too oily. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try, why not? So I did get it because I seen that video. Found some Maybelline lipsticks, guys. And you know, I complain, I complain about not finding name brand lippies. Since I've been back, my Dollar Tree has had some name brand lippies. You'll see those in the next video. Whenever we do get the name brand lipsticks by me, I, I'm not a fan of them. So it's like, why are you complaining? Um, I don't know. The colors are on the bottom. I don't want to open them yet, but the colors are on the bottom. I don't know if you should be able to see them. So you have like a brown... Um, I don't want to say like a coral, but this is naked coral. That's just exactly what it is. And then this one is like a burgundy. It's not quite red, or is it red? I need glasses. They're saying hooked on pink. So I don't know, but those colors are on the bottom. So I did pull three of those, these three. Found nails. Found these green ones. And this is about my length. That I'm having that I have on with my acrylic nails. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I said that after my vacation, which is the cruise next week, because I'm gonna get my nails done probably Sunday. Um I am gonna try press on nails again. I say that, but I don't know. But I wasn't gonna leave these behind for a dollar twenty-five because if you go in the nail section at Target, Walmart, any place that sells kiss nails, you know they're not a dollar twenty-five, okay. Um, and they had these shorter ones in this purple glittery color. I did get two of these. I only got one of the green. I thought I got more. And I got two of these. If I don't wear these, I'll gift them to my sister. Uh, she does press on nails. And I did get these. I did find these in Roanoke Rapid. They had them all. They had them all. And I got none of them because I did see a YouTube video from the same one who reviewed this. You know, I do kind of trust her word but we're all different and they do sell these i've seen these at dollar general for about five dollars i've seen these i believe at uh five below for five dollars or 5.55 because you know they raise prices and these are the only ones they have left they're not my favorite but this is perfect for the fall i guess i don't know with the daisies and stuff like that for harvest or whatever so i did get these if i don't use them they will be gifted so for a dollar 25 i don't feel like i lost out um love hate relationship with softy I did try some of the softy shampoos and conditioner guys uh, that I found this way. And the last one, that silken shade that comes in the brown bottle, 
a woman on Instagram said she felt like it really dried her hair out and I have to say I washed my hair the day we left and I felt like it really dried my hair out I don't even want to use it to be honest with you I don't know if I'm going to donate it and, and then the other ones that came out I don't feel like they say they're moisturizing like I, I don't feel that but a glutton for punishment I've seen these now they had a couple of different ones but this is the only one that they had the shampoo and the conditioner so this is the mango charcoal it's a damage preventing detoxifying conditioner restores healthy shine and softness uh, sulfate free paraben free and this is the so this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner I did break down and get it and I'm gonna give it a try I don't know guys all of those products that say sulfate free paraben free like the Bath and Body Works changed their formula to paraben free I feel like the parabens left you more moisturized and I know they're not supposed to be good for you but I I don't really like the new formula and maybe is that what it is like the parabens you know they brought the moisture I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna give it a try and I like that these are not those big bottles even though you get less product it's just if you're traveling these are just easy to travel with you know so it, it is what it is I did break down and get this, but not for my hair. I got it for wigs. This is Softy for Textured Hair Oil Sheen Conditioner Spray. Yeah, so that's why I bought this. Um, and I only got one of them. Okay, and I've seen that at multiple locations. We're winding down, guys. I know. So I found this Freeman Mask Set. Okay. And this is a Dream Big Sleepy Time Four-Piece Mask Kit. It comes with an overnight whipped eye mask. It comes with an overnight whipped face mask, satin-like sleep mask, and then it comes with this night mask duo. It says, hydrate, recover for self-care treat. Now, the packaging is kind of busted up, but the store clerk said, you know, most likely everything is in here. So I took that chance, and yes, everything is in here. So this is the, it's just so cute, the Sleepy Time Whisk Mask, Whisk Whipped Mask. This is the duo one. Here's the, um, I'm excited to try this. And it's free of sulfates and parabens. Uh, this is the Sleepy Time Whipped Eye Mask. And then here is the, how cute is this? It says Sleepy Time Satin Eye Mask. If they would have had more, I would have bought more. This is a perfect gift, guys. And I am seeing the other four-piece mask kit, but I think this one is nicer, guys. This one is nicer. I wish they would have had more. They only had this one. This was the last one. I definitely would have bought more for gifts. Definitely would have bought more for gifts. How could you go wrong? How could you go wrong? The only one they had. Okay, a surprise find. I have seen these circulating around YouTube. You know, the haves, they do their hauls, you know, bragging. People think I find everything. Let me tell you something. Anything I find is well earned. Your girl puts in time and your girl puts in some serious miles. I'm in the South where the next target for me, if I don't like what I see at the Greenville Target and I'm adamant about finding something, the next target is almost an hour away. In either direction, whether I'm going back that way towards my mom or if I'm going west. I mean, and, and that is 50 miles one way. So your girl puts in some miles. But I did not expect to find these from Dreamology. This is the chamomile face. Yeah, wax strips for your face. So how cool is that? I only got two. I only got two. It has the instructions on the back of how you do them. I have bought wax strips from Dollar Tree before, but I don't think they were from a, a brand they were from I think Sassy and Chic had them years ago and I didn't use them right or whatever so they weren't it wasn't a success and then they also had these lavender wax strips for bikini and body hair removal strips are great for touch-ups and travel hair grows back finer and softer so this one has four strips in each box and two wipes and this one has eight strips and two wipes okay so I did haul two and two of um, the wax strips so this is part one guys this was food and beauty and the next haul will be like household cleaning stuff some seasonal miscellaneous stuff but all still 
fabulous and I want to be like the haves, okay? Because I'm tired of this, this struggle. But it's a blessing in disguise because when I lived in New York, my Dollar Tree inventory was out of control. And it really is the thrill of the hunt and the rush for some of these things because it goes in a bag um, and <laughs> it sits until you have to gift it. And sometimes you repurchase because you forget you bought it. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's a blessing in disguise, you know, but I had a great time. We stayed at a really, really nice hotel. We stayed at the Hilton Garden Inn, right on the boardwalk. Five minute walk, if that, to the Neptune statue. We had great weather. It was just nice to wake up and look out sliding glass doors and the ocean is right there, especially when you don't live near um, a beach. Like we don't live, we're an hour and a half from the beach. So you don't, we only see beaches on vacation. So it really was nice. Um, good food, good shopping. I just love Virginia Beach. I really love it. Um, even by my sister. I just love it. I just love shopping. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so I hope to be back soon. It was a nice, great two and a half hours. But it's not that driving in traffic, bumper to bumper. It's nice country scenery. So it was a good time. And I'm looking forward to my trip next week. We're going on a cruise out of Orlando. And we're flying. So I'm going to try to leave some room in my suitcase just in case I can get to a Dollar Tree, but it is our five-year wedding anniversary next week. So that's the purpose of that vacation. So, you know, I really, I can't make it about Dollar Tree. But, you know, you can go to one, right? But I can't bring back too much because we're flying. And, you know, I'm not trying to pay. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay, you know, to bring something from Dollar Tree back, you know. So... But I do, I would love to. I've never been to a Dollar Tree in Orlando or Florida to begin with. Even when we went out of cruises on Miami, I don't think I found a Dollar Tree. So I would like to see one. Um, but yeah, so we'll be in Orlando for a couple of days before we get on the ship. So um, I have more videos to come before I leave. But I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you didn't see the in-store, I will put it in the comments. Um, and so you could see how they live in Virginia Beach, how their Dollar Trees are very, very good to them. And we can dream, right? But thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. I will see you in part two. Bye-bye.